Hi, I'm Letitia Scanlon and I was in the first girls graduating class of 2007 at Halebury and I'm also an Olympic clay target shooter. Being part of, you know, the first girls intake of Halebury was a really exciting time and you know it was it was different I was at an all-girls school in Berwick in my local town and you know moving from there was a massive leap for me but I, I was really happy to to be welcomed into this Halebury culture and you know being a clay target shooter although that wasn't a, a sport offered on the curriculum they were extremely supportive and I in 2007 I made my first world championship team and I think it's very important that you need that support network and group and Halebury was uh, very accommodating you know with my studies and, and trying to balance you know sport and work. My dad introduced me into the sport when I was 15 years old. I was always at the gun club and I thought you know what why not try it and if I like it then I'll take it up and it will be a fantastic um, time to spend with your father and you know, the first time that I shot a gun at a clay target, uh, it was incredibly scary and nerve wracking for, you know, a little 14, 15 year old. And then I just got the bug. My uh, achievement that I'm the most proud of would be my first World Cup win because everyone was there. There were 70 competitors. Um, you know, the reigning Olympic champion was there and it just justified to me that I was doing the right thing at the right time and, you know, all my preparation and training had really paid off. My mum and dad are my number one supporters and, you know, they've seen it all. They've seen the highs, they've seen the lows. Everywhere I go, my dad mentions that I'm going to the Olympics. It's so embarrassing. I've had to tell him to calm down because I'm just getting incredibly embarrassed. But, you know, that's his way of, of showing how proud he is. And, you know, they're just fantastic people. I love them to death and um, it's, it's just really exciting. You know, after missing out on London in 2012, I just had this incredible hunger and drive to, to make the next Olympic team and, and they've seen all of that and you know for people that don't know a lot about clay target shooting this is a sport that's 20% physical and 80% mental it's an individual sport so you have no one else but yourself to blame yeah the triumphs are great but you learn more from you know your mistakes and, and, and your lessons than you do from actually winning my preparation for the Rio Olympics has not been <laughs> what I imagined it to be I've just had a few speed bumps along the way. I, I think everything happens or everything does happen for a reason and I'm just trying to stay super positive when it comes to things like that and, and not let anything affect me because, you know, at the end of the day you can't control what's happening so you might as well just take it in your stride. I am so proud of what I've done with, you know, my shooting career and going to my first Olympics. That was, you know, a childhood dream. I haven't been back to Halebury in a while actually, so driving through the gates, you know, it's always lovely memories to come back to the place where you last, you know, did your education and I'm really excited to be here and it's always, you know, a privilege to, to walk through Halebury.